The space I have to work with is a little nook closet area about six feet wide and 30 inches deep. The plan is to build a simple shoe bench, the full width of the opening, but only 12 inches deep. Then I will install the shoe bench at the front of the opening, leaving about 16 inches of space behind the bench. I'll then trim out at the top of the bench around the entire nook area. Onto that trim, I'll attach some one by two cleats. The trim gives me a nice place to attach cleats and protects the drywall around the bench. To the cleats, I'll then hinge on made to fit tops. The hinge tops will rest on top of the shoe bench. Then finally, to finish off the bench, I'll add some more boards on top. With this bench, I'll have easy storage for shoes and boots in the shoe bench, and then hidden storage behind the shoe bench for larger boots and seasonal items. I started off by taking measurements of the space. Since I'm working with framed walls that are notoriously never perfect, I decided to build my bench about half inches smaller than the opening. I'm sure glad I did. My husband and I built the bench in the garage, painted it, and hauled it in and fitted it in place. It's just 1 by 12 construction. You can get the free detailed plans on my website, anna-white.com. Then I secured the bench to the wall with screws. This is, of course, after shimming under the bench to make sure it sits level. We also built a trim piece for the back in the garage and painted it. Then we just hauled it in and set it in place. The hard part here is not dinging up the drywall. We leveled the trim piece and attached it to studs in the wall so it sits one and a half inches below the top of the bench. Then we screwed one by two cleats around the back and sides, attaching to the bottom of the trim piece. Now we are ready to add the bench tops. I cut the bench tops to fit for a nice custom fit. We made our bench tops out of one by six boards, pocket hold together. I'm using the Craig Foreman to drill my pocket holes. It's amazing. Makes quick work of drilling the pocket holes, then all I have to do is attach with pocket hole screws. We stained the bench tops with Rust-Oleum Early American and then sprayed on two coats of Watco liquor. Then we added hinges to the edge of the hinge up parts of the bench top and then we attached the hinges to the trim piece that we attached to the wall earlier. Notice that when closed, the hinge tops sit on top of the shoe bench. Also notice we added a one by two support on the underside of the hinge up bench top pieces for added support. We want this project to last and get lots of use. To finish off the front of the bench, we pocket a hold two 1x6 boards together, stained and finish them in the garage too. I just set them in place and attached with one and a quarter inch screws from the underside. I love how this bench turned out. It stores so much and there's no super deep shelves or stuff to get the lost in the backup. And my kids love the new hide and seek spot. You can get the free step-by-step -step plans for the shoe bench and the cubby shelves on my blog, anna-white.com. Thanks for watching. Make sure you take a second to subscribe and check out some of my other videos. Happy building.